Don't cut metal with uh, swap pants. Hey guys, what's going on? So it's been a few weeks since I posted and that's because I've been waiting on a few things. I'll, uh, I'll give you a quick update and then we'll get started on one of the projects. So for the 135, I basically put it back uh, to like a stock tune for the most part. So I did a Blackstone analysis on the oil and I did an oil change and I was waiting for that to come back. And it came back and everything was fine. There was no metals in the oil. There were no contaminants in the oil. So everything should be good. I'm going to switch tuners. And the reason why is because I've been having timing corrections over and over and over. If you guys have seen that in my videos. And one of my buddies had the same exact tuner I had. And he had the same exact issues. So he switched tuners. His car's running great. So I think I'm going to do the same thing. I hate to throw money like that, but at the same time, it's like I don't want to hurt this engine or have any issues. So I'm just going to switch tuners. So I'll probably get a tune soon and we'll do the whole tuning process together. Now, with the bike here, yeah, actually, let me go over here. So I pretty much took the tank out, the seat, and I've been waiting on parts for this bike, the CB750. All the tank and stuff is over there. I ended up going to a swap meet a couple, uh, probably like two weeks ago to find some parts for this, and I did not find anything. But actually, let me uh, show you a clip from the swap meet. Boys, we made it to the fall Conro swap meet, and Today we're gonna go to the swap meet. So I don't know if uh, you've ever been to a swap meet or not, but it's basically like a Facebook marketplace before they even existed. And people bring their vintage parts, motorcycle parts, tools, and all that. And uh, they sell for pretty cheap. So I love coming to these places. You're not gonna find any N54 or BMW parts, but you'll find stuff like that. And I usually get good deals. So just uh, take a walk around and uh, see if we find anything good. It's a pretty sweet unit. 5,000 or best offer. Ben, you got some big ass slicks here you can put in the 135, huh? Alright, there's some Honda tanks here. Actually, there's one here. Uh, I think this might be a 350 though. It might be. It's definitely too small for my bike. It's all beat up, but uh, we'll just keep looking. I want to tell you what that looks like. Man, not sure what happened, but this was probably the biggest one I've seen in years. And I did not find one single thing. Usually, I always get a couple things. But, not today. So, uh, yeah, let's head back to the house and uh, I'll see you there. Alright, so we're back in the house and it's been a week or two since that clip. And, like I said... All this is out. I actually ended up finding a tank on eBay. And the reason why I'm switching the tank is because the 82 CB750, the tank kind of goes like this and it goes down. And I don't like how it looks. Actually, let me show you. Let's go that way. All 
All right, so as you can see, it has that swoop that goes down and then the covers, this is actually the other side, but you get the idea. The cover goes like that and it kind of wraps the whole thing. I hate that look. So I ended up ordering a tank from a CB650 uh, from the 70s. So it's flat bottom. So the tank should be here in a couple of days. So a couple of things that did come in, I have the tail hoop. So the plan is to cut that into there and make the whole tail shorter. We'll get rid of the whole fender and all that. And I also got the bars. So we'll get rid of all that and install these. So let's get these installed. Let's take all the bars out and all that, get these bars installed. And then from there, we'll see um, if we can get this hoop done. All right, let's go. So we have the bars out. Now the next thing I want to do is I know a lot of people are going to cry over this because if you want to restore this bike, you definitely don't want to do this, but all the wiring goes into the headlight and I was following the main wire to see if there was a plug and there's not. So I'm just going to cut that because I'm not going to use the stock wiring. I'm not trying to restore this. I'm trying to make it into a cafe. So I'm trying to rip out everything out so let's take cut the wiring let's take this out let's take all this this actually looks like there's air shocks so i'm gonna have to remove that so we can uh, take the top clamp out and put the bars in cleaner and empty it looks now. So the next thing, I wanna remove these bars here. That's pretty easy, a couple bolts here. And then we have to take this line here. This is for the air shocks. And after that, loosen this, bring the top clamp off, and we'll put the bars on. So I have the bars installed. What I did is I put the top clamp temporarily because this will be coming out. I want to shave this part down so you don't see this, shave this, make it all nice and smooth, paint it black so it all flows good. Also, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do about these shocks. Um, I did lower them by loosening this clamp and this clamp and lower it down to kind of see what the stance is. I do like that height. So I think you have to take these apart and cut the spring inside, or I think they sell a lowering kit, whatever it is, this part would go down. So this would be flush here and it would look much nicer. I'm not gonna leave it with this part like that. But you kind of get the idea I just put these temporarily to kind of get an idea. Sorry, the battery died. So actually, let me show you what the stance looks like. So it actually fits really good. I think I really like this height. So the next step is actually to take this whole rear fender out, all the wiring and all that and cut this right here but it is getting late so i don't want to start cutting and making tons of noise and wake up the whole neighbor so i'll catch you guys tomorrow morning all right guys so it's the next morning here and we're gonna go back and working on the bike so the plan now is to get this hoop installed now 
I wanted to sit the end of it right where the axle is, so somewhere around here. So I have to take the fender out, all the plastics, all the wirings. We'll probably cut this right here and cut it somewhere around here. This is where the end of the loop needs to be. So I'm thinking cutting it here, because as you can see, there's a two piece. And then I'll cut this part like that. We'll weld it here, weld it here, and go all the way around. So let's, uh, let's get to it, get the fender out, and uh, start cutting. All right, so I don't know if you can hear the neighbor's power washing, so it's gonna be a little loud, but I kind of marked it exactly where I want to cut it on both sides. And I'm only gonna cut it right up to here. And then from here, I'll make a straight line. And then with the loop, I'll do the same thing. I'll just cut a straight line so that this can sit like that. And then we'll figure it out this part here. We might have to bend it, whatnot, but I don't want the hoop, I want the hoop to be sitting somewhere around like that, so. Um, a little advice, don't cut metal with uh, swap pants. All right, so I trimmed the loop, and as you can see, it does not line up, so. I think I actually had the wrong measurement. I thought it was nine inches from here to here, but it was eight and three quarters. So no big deal. I think the plan is to cut this right here and take about a quarter inch. And then I'll just pinch that, weld it. But it's pretty much exactly where I want it. After we shorten this, then I'll measure exactly what to cut here. And we can heat this and bend it up and make it look good got everything cut up cleaned up and I'm just gonna do a couple of tack welds here and then we'll test fit it and we'll keep going all right so that fits pretty good maybe just a hair more this way but I can clean that up pretty good so now that that's like that I'm gonna close that in a hair and then Let's mark this and kind of start cutting it and work in, working this whole thing out. All right, so I have the hoop all cut down. And as you can see, it's kind of hard to hold with one hand, but this fits like that. And there's this weird little gap over here. So what I'm going to do, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm going to cut this in an angle and push this up and then get it all welded up. So let me cut that and then now I'll show you where it looks like. So the loop is all welded and smoothed out. So now we just gotta weld this in place and you kinda get to see what it looks like. And we also have a guest. We have Brian, the neighbor. Hello. He's here uh, supervising, making sure everything is good. So Brian, are you ready to uh, supervise? Yes. All right. Oh, that's why. We got to turn on the gas, Brian. Jesus. I'm like, why is it popping like that? Can I have the gas on? All right, guys, so the hoop is all done and welded. As you can see, it looks pretty sweet. Um, the tank will end somewhere here and then the seat will come like that and then right here I'm gonna make a metal hump but that's about it for today Brian say bye to the channel bye. all right I'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>